Legend of Total War here, and today we'll be starting a new campaign series for Rome Total War Alexander. Now it's been absolutely ages since I've played this game, so I'm probably going to be a bit rusty. And plus, um, Alexander has a large roster of pikes, and as you guys know, I'm terrible with pikes. Anyway, let's just get in there and play it. So playing on the hardest difficulty, no advice, and let's just jump in. Following the death of Philip II of Macedon, his 20-year-old son, Alexander, has taken the throne. A victory at Chironia had united Greece under Philip's banner, but in the confusion following his death, unrest is rife. Alexander must crush this dissent quickly. Only once this is achieved can he look to carry through his father's plan to strike at the mighty Persian Empire. With the all-powerful Persian fleet patrolling the waters to the south, Alexander will need to pick his moment carefully. Securing coastal settlements will deny the Persian ships the ability to refit, eventually lessening their effectiveness. But Alexander cannot spare the men to garrison such settlements too heavily, and it may be necessary to slaughter those who might otherwise rise up against him. To achieve his objective within his lifetime, Alexander will need to maintain his momentum as he drives into the heart of Persia. Reinforcements will take months to arrive, so he must recruit local mercenaries to bolster his ranks. In order to proclaim himself the rightful king of Asia, Alexander must control ten key cities within the given turns. So I think you only get a hundred turns, fifty years to do it. So until he's the age of 70, but Alexander died at the age of 33. So that means if you want to do what Alexander did, you have... What's that, 26 turns? That's... that's a little difficult. It's just in terms of, like, logistics. Like, it's hard to get all the way over here and conquer everything within 26 turns. Anyway, that's fine. Alright, let's have a look at the situation here. So, diplomatically, we're... I think, yeah, we're pretty much at war with everyone. Um, we can't just leave these these tribes out here annoying us. So these are... They, they look like they're the same faction, but they're not. It's just the same colour. Alright, so we've got three armies. We've got Parmenion over here, and he's looking like he wants to take this on. But fuck no, look at the size of this force. I mean, we can draw them out, but we'd lose. Especially on this difficulty. Um... Stand on the river crossing here. Forward. Wait for Alexander. If they attack you, you should be fine. Maybe. I don't know if we'll see. Um, Alexander needs to get over to Byzantium. Conquer that so that he can then move into uh, Anatolia and uh, begin the Persian invasion. Now, this over here, this can't be ignored. Someone's Hold going to, need to deal with it. But I'd like to have a family member do it, but we don't. Can we get a family tree? So I don't know if we can adopt new generals, assuming so. My lord. But someone needs to go and take that fort out and then take out Epidemnos. What can we recruit here? Jeez, we don't have much options. Uh, cavalry wise. The thing is, recruiting from, from Greece is probably not really a good idea because it's... By the time it gets to our main forces, it'll be too late. Um, but get that anyway. We've got heaps of money. So, just lower taxes here. What can we recruit? Public order's okay. I know, I just don't, don't see the point in really bothering constructing anything. There's just not enough time. Um, maybe get that just to maintain public order. And even this, I'm just, I'm not certain we're really going to make a whole lot of use of it. Now financially, we're hemorrhaging cash. So we really got to start conquest right away. So if we could hire... What's better, hoplites or hype pacifists? Probably on this difficulty, we're better off getting javelin units. Set. Plus, I hate pikemen. Um, yeah, just a little bit concerned about sending him over here to do that. 
Like, I could, t I could take on the fort by myself, no problem. I'm just not sure. Maybe... Look, this is not urgent. We can, we can leave our troops here in order to deal with this. Like, if they come and attack us, we'll win. Yes, but um, it's not urgent for us to attack. Like, it's just not an urgent settlement to take. So, so what we'll do... Yes, we'll get you, put you in here, because I want cavalry. Let's get... Thessalian Cavalry and Allied Cavalry. What's this here? Mercenary Hoplites. Yeah, no, that's fine. Now let's reorganize them and go and attack Byzantium. My lord! Yes, Stratigos! Yes, Stratigos! My lord! Shit. Yes, Stratigos! My lord! Sir! Order. Just trying to keep Sir. things Sir. organized. Leaving the army. Then Onward. missile units. Sir, my lord. Sir. Orders. Sir. Sir. Yes. Stratigos. Orders. So these guys here, they're pretty expensive, but they're um. Yes. Stratigos. I guess they're kind of worth it because I got higher numbers. You just Orders. stay in here, and if they Onward. attack us, well, I'm sure you'll be able to handle it. Let's get more hoplites from here, although. I mean, Sparta's population's okay for public order. We've got them on low taxes. I'm just wondering if we should maybe upgrade the barracks. But that would only give us access to high pass bursts. Just, just keep it under control. Get, you, get your troops from here. Yes, Alright, let's, let's attack this. Prepare for battle! Oh look, there's a uh, army right outside here. Well, let's attack that. So it would be really good if we can draw them out, but if we do that, it might eliminate the faction. So it might be better off. Just we got to find out how many settlements that they. That's the thing I just don't know. How many, how many factions are there? Dahe, Illyria, Thrace, Scythia. I think these guys have only got one settlement, so we might be better off just besieging the settlement. And taking it that way. If they attack us during the end turn, then that's that's a different story. And you come here. I could really use like a spy. Can we, can we get one? No. Maybe we can recruit spies when we get there, because we just need to be able to see what's going on over here. Eventually get to Egypt as well. Is there anything else we can do? My Doesn't Lord. look like it. Alright, let's move on. So yeah, I thought they might do that. That's why I put them on the river crossing. Problem is though, those Mardian archers, they're going to uh, be a bit of a problem, especially because they're long range missiles. We have to rely on them making a silly mistake. I mean, strength, we are outnumbered nearly two to one. Oh, well, let's do this. Men, this battle is inevitable. Don't really need to hear the uh, speeches. Okay, so just one crossing. Looks like it. Alright. Organize my soldiers into the way I like it. Okay, so just hang back. It's because if we uh, if we're too close, those archers will be able to get us. So what we'll do is. If they start charging in, then we need to move in quickly. Because on this difficulty, I'm pretty sure they they're just to wreck our um, our troops. Just wait for them to get organized. There's 
Too bad I can't get my cavalry across to get rid of their archers. But um, yeah, I can't just I can't justify letting them sit there sh uh, shooting us. They can't hit us from here, can they? formation up here, but we still take a lot of casualties. Okay, we're going to need to start moving up now. I need to move quickly. Sure, we're probably going to take a little bit of damage from those archers. It might be better off if we let the javelins actually take it. Because I need the javelins a hell of a lot less than I need um, the phalangists. Shooting at us just yet, which is good. I wonder why they're not shooting. They would clearly be in range. damage with his volley. So aim for my javelin then, because they're cheap crap that I can replace. You're on guard mode. Stay, stay in position. Alright, so percentage wise, we're not winning. But that's okay. They haven't even started to really come across yet. They've sacrificed their general very early on. So that's the kind of thing as well. Moving forward. I know with, with pikes I'm supposed to give move orders, not attack orders. Come in here, make sure their morale is nice and high. They're not really aiming for them at the moment. Start coming around over here. Oh, jam. Damn, that's not good. We get powering mercenaries, I suppose. Good thing these guys are here reinforcing the flank. Mountain Power is moving away from us, but if we kill the enemy general, we can get a mass route going. Just 
dying. Alright, send the cavalry in. Because these guys will, will buckle soon. Enemy general dies, I'm certain these guys will break. Get in there. Come again. Route or what? Fear makes a home in our enemies' hearts. We killed 65% of them, we're not even close to what them out. Sort of like, what's the point of finishing, what's the point of um, they're actually beating them in melee. That's kind of bullshit. But you know, that's just to get ready. And we've won the battle, but we gotta we gotta try and make this really count. What's wrong with you? Oh, for fuck's sake, why is it doing that? Break these Marty and Archers. My cavalry would come back. It's good they came back. So for that, attack them. So what percentage are we up to now? 76%. We need to kill another 10% in order to wipe out this army completely. Sure, there's still 10% of them left on the, on the field. Okay, just send, just send that one to go take that out. Got to get to 85%. Oh, we are at 85%. So all we need to do now is win. Run them down for the enemy's the hearts are full of fear, and now they flee. Now the problem here is that we've lost more than half of our army. I mean, we'll get a little bit of recovery, but is this enough to take take that settlement? Pokemon. I mean, it's certainly a lot easier now that we've, we've wiped out a very large army. There's no way we would have been able to do this out in the field. Without, um, without this river crossing battle, and that's why the river was there, I think. Oh, 
get used to it. Because if we can take that settlement, we can probably retrain all of these guys in one turn. Alright, we're just sort of dicking around here now. I think the audio, the um, music is maybe a little bit too loud. I'll just lower that a bit. The enemy are utterly beaten. This is a crushing victory, worthy of a great general! So yeah, we've got a little bit more than half of our forces. Victory! Ambush in place! Uh, sure. So that's him there, right? Yep. Okay, let's send a unit to go and capture that fort. <laughs> they failed, but that's okay. At least we've we've sort of this is, this is a good thing because we've broken this um, ambush. No more moves, and now we can actually send them over there to finish them off and uh, get a man of the hour general. But we should take a settlement before we do that because we've only got, only got the two. Just thinking how we're going to go about this. Alright, well, let's just, let's just get in there and get this done. So they've got reinforcements coming in, but it'd be good if we could get inside the settlement before they even arrive. souls to the afterlife just make sure that yours is not one of them all right then so enemy reinforcements will be coming down from here if we can get inside and capture all the and capture the gate really quickly that'd be useful we've got loads of cavalry so we could certainly um hold their advance Inside the settlement there isn't anything special. Just want one ram. Just want to make one breach in here, because we want to go and capture all the gates. If we're going to fight this army, make them come and fight us through the uh, through our pikes. It'd be a nightmare for them. The enemy have brought up more reinforcements in a futile attempt to save themselves. So yeah, you get up here and just start shooting whatever you can. Since they're coming in from a corner, uh, a corner, they're uh, they're coming in slowly. It buys us time. Part that would be good. I mean, it's better to shoot the enemy general, but really, I'll just I'll take whatever. Yep. Yeah. Hope these guys here don't shoot. Yeah, no, they didn't. It's just the ones over here. Our soldiers are at the gates. Now they must batter a way through. over here. Shit. You, you look there. Drop your shit. Get over here. Our soldiers have done their work well. The battering ram has broken through the gate. 
Okay, now the problem here is that Pikes are really crappy at, at dealing with this sort of situation. Going through a choke point. Okay, I need I need a cav. Which one? Um, yeah, this is fine. To go and capture all of those those points Our over there. Soldiers have captured the walls. Now is the time to press on and capture this place. So we need to quickly come in here and just secure this area. Yeah, you need to fucking hurry before they get here. Because they're on the move. I mean, if their cavalry get inside, it's not too bad, because our pikes can easily handle that. But I would prefer it if we stop them. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do that. Hang on, why don't we send them over here to, like, just get his attention? I think they're closer. Come on, you've got to move it. Hang on, I think we got their attention. Okay, they're backing off. I don't actually want to fight them, I just want their attention. Pike's down. Start getting our troops inside the settlement. We should turn around over here. Get him. Okay, we got we got guys incoming. Charge in. Get the gods have filled the enemy. Great gods be praised. The enemy general is killed. Fear makes a home in our enemy's heart. Okay, stop firing. Okay, with the enemy general dead, we can probably just charge in there with the cavalry. Got a bit of a mess going on over here. Just uh, let's see. Let's send the Allied cavalry. Oh, no, actually, you guys to come around the flanks here. Don't think they're using their archers. Stand there. Units, See, they're already tired as well. All right. Let's see how we do this. What else we got over here? We got more pikes. They bring him up here. Get around over here, get those archers. Just stay away from those spearmen, for the time being. Okay, no, we, we need to get in there and fight. Let's go. Doesn't matter if they're not in black formation, all we need to do is just charge her and break them. Actually, we're better off not charging, I think. Okay, 
Good. Come on. Rip them to shreds. Don't worry about running them down completely. That's why we've got blocks set up for inside the settlement. What are you doing? Come on, get over here. Make sure Alexander doesn't die. Yeah, he's okay. Okay, if Alexander's bodyguard takes damage. Okay, there's no one shooting at us. Send Alexander's bodyguard out to here because they can easily deal with it. They're really good cavalry, and um, we can make sure he doesn't die just by rallying right at the very last second of the charge. Get back in position. The enemy show their true virtue. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men. Go, go, go. Destroy them. Okay, I think that's that entire army gone. And that'll just ensure, ensure that there's no rebels just sitting outside the settlement after the battle. Which shouldn't be a big deal, anyway, if, if, there, if there was. But still, I just prefer if there isn't. Okay, now there's just two units left in here, so some of them made it back. Okay, they don't have any missile units. If we just send in our, our, uh, our pikes up here, the Fathling Discs. Let's make sure they stay in a steady formation. They can set up a wall to make sure they don't come out and fight us. Get inside. Okay, now. Infantry! Up here you come. Don't mind running them. They're not going to be that tired. Okay, first one will set up over here. I don't like it that they do that. It's really annoying. I think it's a problem with huge... Um, huge unit scale. I know that the game is a lot easier. In terms of um, you know just the, the buggy mechanics on uh, on large in scale, it just it works a lot better. Okay, now let's bring these guys up. Slowly making our way over. Until that happens, okay. The thing is, if I move them forward. Yeah, see, they're not, they don't actually move forward. That's why I say I hate pikes. It's really disorganized. If you want to use pikes, you're going to do it on like large unit scale. The enemy king flies from the fight. Now let us drive them That's all okay, from the field. 
Well, we didn't kill him, but got him out of there at least. Got those pikes down just in the last minute there. Infantry. If we set our pikes up right, they won't be able to even get through them. That's the end of it. No, there's still two more of them. Infantry! March! Waiting for orders! Okay, good. March! Infantry! March! Infantry! So I'm gonna set things up over here so that there is nowhere but pikes for them to go. Then we bring in the javelin men. Just fire over their heads. Try and entice them to come at us. Don't fire until they're ready, obviously. Shooting some my own men. Are they coming? Yep, there we go. Nope, they didn't. Okay, back off. That was the last of those javelins. We can up here next. There we go, this is what we want. I can't get through that. Really need to be as conservative as possible with these kind of battles. How much did we lose? Four percent. Because there's a lot of Persian armies to kill. Shot in on them, that would be great. Good, so we would have gotten some recovery as well. Looks like we lost about 146 men. Perfectly acceptable there. We'll make the most money from exterminating them. I we can actually get some troops here, so maybe maybe I'll actually enslave them. Public order shouldn't be too bad. Alright, needs to be to Zeus. Let me just check this. Yeah, Zeus for public order. What can we recruit here? So we can retrain our hoplites, but they're not badly damaged anyway. Yes, Now, are you going to even be able to take this out? I have an idea actually. 
we'll have Alexander deal with this. Um, we'll do a a technique that will guarantee us an easy victory. Sir. And I might actually send Parmenian. Hmm, I have to think about this. All right, what are we going to leave behind here? I don't want to leave anything behind. So let me just see yes, if we can Madam. leave My Lord. all but one unit. Okay, cool. So what we can do here, just recruit a peasant unit yes, to maintain boss. public order. Yes, sir. Off the boat. Okay, Alexander Lord. can't make it to the to the battle or to the to the siege unless he yes, leaves behind Madam. the infantry. So what I want to do here is do the whole put one unit on one side of the thing. Gee, he wasn't really able to move very far. The thing is, I don't know where all the other fucking settlements are. Paphagonia. Um, see, a lot of these units here need retraining. So I need to keep them by, because Halicarnas is a pretty big city. We should be able to retrain most of these guys from here. Yes, Stratigos. You can't retrain Sir. mercenary hoplites at all anyway. So what I want to do yes, is give him yes, a bunch of infantry and have Alexander have the cavalry. Just thinking how we're going to go about this. Alexander My will Lord. have all the, all the infantry, leave them behind that are going to uh, need retraining. Alright, well, Alexander goes and Living besieges the settlement. We destroyer. don't need any siege. Equipment, siege but yeah, I don't need any siege equipment. Siege, yes, if we have a look at boss. this, cavalry will do us just fine. There's nothing in here like pikes or anything, so we'll be just fine. Then we send in yes, all of this cavalry boss. to come and stand here. The Could actually put them under the command of him. Yes, yes, Stratagos. The uh, don't bring these guys forward. in because we might be able to retrain them, although they're probably mercenaries. I'm, I'm just not Orders. certain. Sir. I'm sure just the cavalry will be enough. You need to make sure yes, these guys are far enough boss. away that um not getting involved. Could Sir. use a uh, movement bug actually. Yes, Stratigos. To get them like out to here. My lord. Okay, well. Just hold on a moment. Sir. Yes, Stratigos. Leaving the army. Um, what are we doing? Wanted to merge them. These two here will need to be retrained. Sir. Keep them here. Leaving the army. I mean, they'll sort of affect no more the chance of, of them getting attacked, but it won't, it won't be enough. So I want all the units that are in yes, good shape. Stratigos. My lord? My lord? Yes, Stratigos. Maybe, hang on. Leaving the army. So we'll Orders. bring them over here. Orders. Orders. Sir. My lord? Sir, what else sir, is damaged here? Nothing else is really badly damaged, that's fine. Sir, so sir, these here that have lord, damage, leave lord, them there. Leaving the army. Sir, yes, Stratigos. Sir, you attach to word. there. Sir. And we do this. Marts moves depleted, sir. Marts! Not possible, okay, and what sir. that does is just helps possible, bring these, um, these guys forward. So they're not lagging behind. Yes, Alright, now I did say we have to get rid of this as well. Problem here is that we don't have any cavalry fighting them out in the field. They've got a little bit of cav. Would we win though? Because we don't have a general. And morale is very important. But if we win, we'd get a general. At least I think we would. Yes, Stratigos. Yes, Stratigos. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Up against six. Maybe, maybe just back off from that for the time being. Just not, Sir. not yet. 
If they attack him, it doesn't really matter. It might be a good thing if they send them down here. What we'll do here, recruit a unit of peasants to help maintain public order. I want to send... I send these up here. Get another hypaspis. Okay, we should be good to go. I, I expect that these guys are going to sally out during the end turn. That's the whole point of us doing this. Oh, fuck me. Th this guy didn't need to be in there. Oh, well, we'll just see what happens. Moving on. There's nothing in here that's of any major concern, so this is a good opportunity as well to get a, a man of the hour. I just majorly hope that they'd sally out there, because otherwise we've wasted a, to a, a whole turn. If you can smell something right, Okay, time to reorganize. Let's go with um, this time missile units. We'll be in the back. So yeah, I don't think these guys have any jet. Oh, they got Persian peltists, but I'm not really too concerned about them. As long as we just stay nice and steady. And there's gaps through here, but we should be fine. I'm actually surprised they actually make an attack like this. He flees the field like a coward. Yeah, they're getting the hell out of here. There's no point in running them down. We have no cav. They're gonna come back for more. Okay, these three, these two are out of ammo. Pull them back. So these guys. Oops, 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 stop. Round two, motherfuckers, as if that's gonna make any difference. You should actually leave the battlefield. Like I said, because they're, um, we got no cavalry, there's nothing we can do to run them down. Just let them go. Thirteen men lost. Well, it's more like thirteen men killed. We probably got a little bit of friendly fire. Alright, come on, Sally out, Sally out. Oh, damn it, they didn't. It all happened because yes, I had this guy in here, so that's a bit of a wasted turn. Maybe I should have just left them in there. Oh well. Anyway, we've got this guy here. You're in charge of the infantry. I'll send you over here. Leaving the army. Sir. And actually bring these over here. Move out. And then we'll, we'll try to do that again. What is? What is? So it looks like we've got a hell of a siege to, that we might have to go through. Um, but I think Sir. we might actually just pull the same shit off. Problem here is that doing it with all infantry is not the same as... It, it's, it's still better Sir. than what is? the alternative. Living so you come over here, besiege this. For and you stand Besieging right there. Settlement under siege, sir. Orders? Let's try them. Orders? Yes. Is that they're sure to sally out against just Alexander? Sir. That's all they'll, they'll detect. My lord. Okay, now Orders? over here. Hmm. 
Just, just come stand back here for the time being. How are we going? Oh, fuck me. Financially, we're fucked. Alright, um, but once we exterminate Helicarnas, that'll make us a bit of money. Alright, let's move on. See, that, that's what, what we would have wanted for the, for the end turn last time. That would have been great. But, you know, mistakes were made. have arrived this is hopeful news indeed so yeah in this campaign I'm gonna to resort to tricking the AI as much as possible just to try and get this done in time it's sort of it is sort of like a blitz said not really because it's live like if this was a blitz campaign I would save scum to use them because I might be able to retrain them inside the settlement. Good if I had some horse archers. No need to wait for them to come out the field. First person we absolutely must kill is the general. And he's out, so let's go over there and kill him. I don't know if um Cavalry are very good against chariots. I don't think they are. But, you know, this is all we brought. Are these scythe chariots? Yeah. Fuck off, come on. What was your, oh, he's got, he's got archers on there. Doesn't matter about the, the arrows out here. These, I mean, these guys are shooting us anyway. Just get in there and crush him. Great God be praised! The enemy general is killed! Fear makes a home in our enemy's okay, hearts! Do not press the attack any further than that. Back off, back off. Because of the, um... Things. Boiling oil. Okay, now the pikemen... We'll have to deal with them last. But we certainly can beat them even with cavalry. We just need to know how to do it. And the way to do it is actually just make them exhausted and then you just cap them in the ass a little bit. Okay, with these guys here, they're just going to keep coming back and forth. Cut them off. Now the problem is that since we can't get inside the settlement, we can't properly run them down sometimes. Okay, lure them away from the walls. Also, if we save those units till last, they'll be dismayed by the loss of the battle. Right, you need to get rid of them. Try and get rid of them all. Just one chariot left. This is, this is interesting. Now, Immortals, they're missile units, so... They're expecting me for that. Operation Cultists. Um, got a unit here that's actually taking quite a bit of damage. Oh no, it's not, it's just Parmenian. So they're shaking, but we need to flank them. 
We can use the Persians, uh, use the Peltists. Try and break them here. Good. Get that mass route going. Run them down. Alright, go take them out. If we can get them all to route simultaneously, we'll win the battle. Try not to break them break, because they'll they'll get to the town square faster than everyone else. this, we don't charge into them, we just go near them. If you charge into pikes, it's suicide. And you just, you just sort of give them a love tap. So you charge, that's what happens with the charge on them. There we go. The enemy army is in... This is a victory. Victory and honor. And that sorts out our money need, uh, money needs. So what kind of bodyguard are you? Another chariot. It's going to be difficult using infantry to do this, but it's possible. I mean, most of this stuff is just like Persian infantry, and they fucking suck. But we'll just do what we can. The thing is, because his his uh, unit is a chariot, they're never going to catch up to my general's bodyguard anyway. So I'll be able to get him over to. to the infantry have no arrived, but are they in time to take part in the battle? So far in this war, the Persians have been utterly crushed. But we're certainly far from done. Alright, just waiting for my reinforcements to get here. Still waiting on a few of them. I think I think not all of my units came onto the battlefield because I know that these were like max strength. This is what happens when they come in from a corner. This, is, this happens. It's it's okay. We've still got enough men to uh, to win this. Just a little bit of a bug. Again, another. I think it's another problem with huge unit scale. Another problem here is that the. Um, we start off on a pretty significant low ground. So we need to try and get up to here as quickly as possible to slow down. And it's basically just turning this into a field battle because Assaulting settlements on this difficulty, and with this unit scale, with pikemen, doesn't work out so well. If you had archers, or legionaries, in your sword infantry, it's a different story. Yeah, do they have archers in this army? Because that's the only thing that I'm really worried about. Doesn't look like it. Are they trying to flank us or something?
Okay. Pike's down. It's a good way of making a uh, attack turn into a defense. And don't forget, the Greeks, they're, uh, they're very good in defense. In my opinion, terrible in attack. Oh, you are just gonna fucking die, aren't you? You do this. Do it, do it, do it. Bring these guys over here, so you can shoot at one of these Persian filters. That is not where I told you to go. I don't know what the fuck. Oh, because they're on skirmish mode. That's why. Right. Fucking hell, I hate skirmish mode. It messes with my orders. Okay. They. Oh, their archers are in the Persian general's bodyguard. So we need to suck that up. Certainly kicking their ass, and that, that's good. Come over here as reserves. Yeah, you're not gonna get past my fellow guests. goes around over here. Can't send the, the general to go kill him, that's not a good idea at all. So far, it's pretty minimal. Fuck. The enemy general is running away. This is no way for a leader to behave. Okay, with but him running battle, away, it is beyond belief. Let's press an all-out attack and see if we can rout the entire army and use the general to, to run him down. Stay with them. I reckon. What are, what are these over here? More cavalry. Yeah, you can deal with that. We didn't kill the enemy general. That's kind of what we need to do. Get over there. Just try and get inside the settlement, just so we can cut all these fuckers off. Okay. 
They're just gonna keep skirmishing. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh. Get him out of there. You guys, try and skirmish, just uh, shoot them. The gods be praised! That's good. The enemy general is dead! His men know their doom you approaches! You get over here, try and... Just if we can right round all the enemy units simultaneously, we win. Here we go with this. We've only lost 4% of our forces. I don't know if that's accurate. Get all these guys taken off. That formation, just get over here. Press the damn attack. But keep the general close by gives us a morale advantage over them. Okay, I think that's about as good as it's going to get. Just back off. What we need to do now, form a pike wall around the entrance. So anyone that comes over, actually do it this way. It's this way, brutal. So anyone that comes out of the gate gets just annihilated. Do not capture the... Oh, if you capture the gates, then they don't come out anymore. Fucking idiot. Okay, if they capture the... Recapture the gate, and that's a good thing. Good. The walls are no longer out! The enemy have taken them! Firing at will. Stop that. So yeah, now every time they, they come out, they get, they get whack a mold. Okay. Just uh, get back a little bit. Oh, for fuck's sake. You gotta take five steps forward to take one step back, do you? Pathfinding. Oh, I swear. Worst thing about running total war. I gotta stop issuing the same order. Get him away from there. They're just the pathfinding is terrible. What are you doing? All right, let's get these guys over here. Fire over the walls at him. I see, because they're on skirmish mode. Sneaky shit. Okay, we need you to skirmish him. We should, that should be able to kill them. Okay, 
Now it comes a little bit of a tricky part. We need to use the general to sort of... Everyone just needs to break these guys all at once and then we've won. So there we go, we've gained two Persian settlements now. Three turns into the game. Most advanced factions, us, that's great. And financially, we're much better off. Now, what can we get at Holocarnassus? So we can get Auxiliary Thracian Cavalry, their Missile Cav. Is that the only Missile Cav we can get? They're pretty cheap, though. Um, yep. The thing is, now we also need to retrain these guys. Yes, well, we can leave them force. behind and just, just keep going. Wait, what was that? No, it doesn't matter. Um, can we retrain allied cavalry here? I think they're just mercenaries. Yeah, they're just mercenaries. So, definitely want more cavalry to pull off more of that kind of shit. And here, good, we can retrain a few of our units. Rebels over there. Okay, Sparta is now completely under control, so that's good. We can increase the tax rates, not that it makes a big difference. Now it's time for these guys to come over here and take Epidemnos. Orders. Sir! Yes, Stratigos! Orders! Yes, Stratigos! Doesn't need to... My lord. Oh, shit. Sir! I can Sir. mess up the order. Yes, Stratigos! Sir! Orders! Prepare for battle! Besieging settlement, sir! Settlement under siege, sir! My lord! Sir! My lord! Prepare for battle! Okay, now I also settlement want that in there. Sir. But we'll just recruit another unit of... Yeah, get the cav coming in. So what is that doing? Upgrades missile weapons. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about too much. So hopefully those other guys, wherever the hell they are, don't come and annoy my us. Lord. So we can just take that on. Shouldn't be too difficult. And then that just that's just that. The rebels shouldn't be besieging us. Yes, So all of these guys need to be retrained in here. Can they though? Yes. Stratigos. Sir. Okay, so let's see, what do we leave behind? So Allied Cavalry, they, they cannot be retrained, so we might My as well Lord. merge them. Sir. So leave these Prodomoi Sir. back for retraining. Splitting the troops. And then Parmenian and Alexander, they're going to go off ahead to look for Paphlagonia. Or maybe we'll hit, we'll hit Captain, Captain, whatever the fuck his name is. We'll go and hit him. Onward. So these guys, they all need to be retrained to stay there for that. Yes, Stratagos. Onward. Combining. And we should try and spam another general. So we'll get. My lord. We'll put these guys here. Living the then have him initiate forward. the attack. Set. Prepare for battle! Glorious victory! Yes. No, I can't do that now. Sir! Orders! Orders! My right, lord! Just stand there. Yeah, we'll send Orders. Alexander, everyone Orders. except for these Prodomoloi yes, would have been cool. Just stand there. The then you make the attack. What are we Sir, up against? I mean, yeah, there's battle. spearmen in that, but we should be fine. And then the guy that's at that settlement will move on to... I think it's Tarsus? I don't know, I didn't... I wasn't paying attention to it. If you can smell something ripe... On my own. 
God so yeah, the way we'll do this campaign is that we'll have armies comprised of mostly cavalry and also armies comprised of mostly infantry because the armies of cavalry will be able to move a lot faster. And these are the guys that have specialist tasks like go wipe out enemy armies, things like that, because I'm much better with cavalry than I am with infantry. And the infantry, their job is to, I guess, go and capture settlements. Then again, the cavalry are able to do that as well. So we'll just we'll just have to see how we go. It looks like the frame rate's a hell of a lot better for this campaign than it is on the, um, the Skippy Eye campaign. So, changed a few settings. Also, on that I was only trying to record 30 frames per second, but I don't think it was doing that. I think I had it on low um, anti aliasing. So what we're going to want, I think, oh, we can't use his rally ability, and that's going to be very useful to us, because if he dies, we lose the campaign. Um, oh shit. Fucking hell, they do a lot of damage. Okay, fuck it, just get in there. Because, man, they just wrecked us something silly. Get in there. Problem with immortals though, they are high in morale. So we can flank these guys over here. Quickly. The enemy show their true virtue. They are not soldiers. Okay, only we're okay. Took more damage than I had hoped. Man, those fucking archers. Shit, it's like one volley. Anyway, we should be getting a general thanks to that. Thank you, general. Hopefully we do. And that's just a good way of getting free cavalry. Okay, we don't need to go any further than that. Good. good. Can't move any further this turn, though. There's a big army over here, which is a little bit of a concern. Can we, um, let's see, how can we fix this public order? What have we got on low tax rates? I mean, probably just, just some of this stuff will sort it out. He's got more command than bloody Alexander now. My Lord. Oh, it's about the same. So retrain them at the end of the turn. Oh, it, it actually doesn't matter. There's no experience on them anyway. So, no, it's Isis. So Paphlagonia. The settlement's up here, so we'll send Alexander yes, up to Paphlagonia. Or maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'll send yes, send him to take on this Persian army. Yeah. Yes, My lord. If we punch our way through here, then we can get to the settlement. I think because we can just take the road apart from going around it. But the, the main thing is that is a huge army, and I'm just concerned if we if we go and do that, with, especially without cavalry support. So what can we retrain here? Hoplites and Hypaspists. So if we retrain them here. Just thinking how, to, how best to go about this. What's inside the settlement? There's only one unit. A of mercenaries are available yes, in the region. There's nothing available. My Lord. What is so how are we going to go about this? I mean, we probably could beat it just with infantry. The thing is, they've got an absolute full stack. Ours is not a full stack. It might pay just to be cautious about this and go at it with everything we've got. So we need to send them in here Move and retrain them. The, yeah, the Phalangus, they're not going to be able to be retrained here. Oh, that's mercenary hoplites. Um, 
Yes, Stratigos. My lord, sir. March, joining forces. There's no cavalry available here, is there? No. What's this? Zoroastra, destroy that build, Zeus. See, the Persian navy's heading up this way. Um, Ready! I don't really know what else we could do to try and save our navy. Maybe just try and get them out over here. Set sail! Moves depleted, sir! Ready! Yes, Stratagos! Alright, so... We can only retrain a unit of... Or train a unit of infantry here. Which one should we get? I think the high pass bits are a, a, a good fit for us. They're not that expensive. What about a spy? Yeah, a spy would actually be better because I really need to see what's going on. Intel's important. Keep that though. Alright, um... They all need to be retrained. I don't really need to build anything here, but... Fuck it, I'll just do it anyway. I mean, we've got the money. Money shouldn't be a problem. If we keep exterminating every settlement we come across, we'll be filthy rich. Maybe I'll recruit some hoplites here, just to make sure if they do come down here, we can resist them. If we had a port there, we could get in. Alright, practice range. Let me just have a look at the what's available from there. So they don't have any archers, it's all just javelin men. That sucks. Maybe get the paved roads so we can get across here faster. Because once these guys are done with Epidemnos, we'll need to go and hit the Scythians. But they, these, these guys here, they really need a general. So maybe I'll send one of these guys back. Yes, My lord, sir. I don't know, we'll see how we go. We've got four generals now, so that's good. Or, also, if they go and attack this rebel here, they'll get a new general, so maybe I don't need to do that. Alright, let's retrain these here. And these. And then move on. Yeah, see, I was worried that might happen. We are Fuck me, a whole new army just showed up. Okay, we're not going to be able to defeat that with just one unit of pikes defending it, I don't think. Kind of wish I'd recruit two, two pikes. Anyway, let's fight this battle here, and then we'll end the episode. So this will wipe out the Thracians. We may need to actually retake Byzantium. How many of us who look upon this dawn will live to see the night? Now they've got some archers in there. Which obviously will do a bit of damage to us. We're going to use anyone. Use these worthless pikes. Well, they're not worthless, but they're. I, I'm not a big fan of these guys. Basically. I've made that very clear. I'm not a fan of pikemen. Which, you know, gets me a lot of criticism from people that are fans of pikemen, but, you know, people who say cavalry is crap. Fuck you. Cavalry is king. Yeah, if we, what we really want to be doing, I think, is taking out those barbarian archers. But really, just shoot at whatever. Okay. So, I want to ram here. There. There. Good. They missed a good opportunity to shoot us.
See, this is what I was concerned about with the archers, but it's okay, we put ourselves in loose formation. And losing a few javelin men is fine, I mean, we can probably recover them from here anyway. Although the main concern of this battle is going to be more uh, especially when going up against the general's bodyguard. Ram has done its work. The gods have smiled on us today. The walls are broken. Okay, most of their jobs are never going to Okay, you get in over here. Come on, kill for some cavalry. You get over here. See, he's already shaken. That's why you need to have a general. I can get over there. You'll improve their morale, even just by one point, it'll, it'll matter. Getting inside the cylinders. Our soldiers have captured the walls. Now is the time to press on and capture this place. Get in. If comes charging at us, we can drop down the pikes at a moment's notice. Okay, most of the archers are gone. So that's really helpful. Come in now. Okay, pikes are in. So we just slowly make our way up the hill. And by slowly, I mean run like crazy. Here on out, it's going to be tricky to move in here. This is the hard part here. The, the general, that's going to be the hard part. Because he was, I mean, he's got a penalty against our hoplites, but he's just so much higher quality. Let's so Let's get into formation. What we want to try and do is see if we can shoot a javelin in, into him and then have him charge into our pikes. We're gonna need to probably get these pikes two two ranks deep. That guy's not faring too well in there. We can get over here. The Phalanges should do a lot better than just the regular pikes. It's risky to send the general in there, but it's the only one that's that can match it for quality. There's not that many of them left now. Surely make his followers waver. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, he's, he's in front of a tower. Whatever. Die in a hole, you stupid shit. Oh. 
the fuck are you doing? That is not where I told you to go. Do not touch the tail squid. Fucking pathfinder, I swear to god. Hunts down and just attack. I mean, they're just they're barbarian spearmen, what are they gonna do? Yep, that's Rum Total Bull pathfinding for you. Wrong direction, bitch. It's more, it's more, it's pikes. That's why I hate pikes. They're just not. I've got quite a lot of micro with this unit scale. Why don't you just use another unit scale? Well, I like playing things like this. I'm going this way, which is shoot Jabba on the floor. Who to shoot means shoot. Oh, it's a good thing these could be retrained very easily. Lost a lot of men, but more importantly, took out an enemy. We'll recover from this Victory! very quickly, I think. So I will enslave them. So yeah, we can. Um, I mean, we could probably actually get them back to Pella anyway. But we can't retrain the uh, the javelin men here. Well, there's only one casualty. There's... that's a fort. It's a rebel fort, so no one's in it. Let me just see if I could stick someone in there. Yes, Stratigos. Sir! There's someone cheap. <laughs> oh, well. It's only the one general. Oh, well. Run for your life! The thing is, if we go over there and we beat him, um... We'll get a man of the hour. Which would be useful, because I was going to send them up this way anyway, but... we got to send them into Scythia. Anyway, I'll figure that out for next time. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, guys. So like and subscribe. Part 2 is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.